Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. We're going to be looking at the Japanese yen, more specifically the dollar yen currency pair. Now, we've just had the Federal Reserve minutes. They were a bit more dovish than expected. The dollar has dropped. It looks like Japanese monetary policy has run its course. And so we're seeing dollar yen dropping pretty sharply. And we want to see in this video, uh, looking at the charts, whether this move is sustainable. Now, the more avid snapshot viewers may remember that uh, back in February, the beginning of February, we had a, a, a video titled, uh, 116 is a massive level for dollar yen. Now, <clears throat> what we'd seen there is a, uh, a move off the 116 level back and retouched an old trend line. Uh, we we're about 117.50 when we did the video. As we currently stand, we've just hit 108 today. So obviously a fairly hefty drop. We've seen one, uh, one big figure drop in dollar yen. And so this is really twofold. It's that uh, Japanese monetary policy doesn't seem like it can go any further. The Bank of Japan cut rates into the negative rather than doing any more QE, perhaps suggesting they don't have much more capacity to do more quantitative easing. And the Federal Reserve have rode back on the number of rate hikes they're going to do this year, many thinking maybe they don't even do any. And so that, that uh, divergence of monetary policy uh, is converging. And so we're seeing the dollar yen collapse. In that video, we suggested that maybe uh, if 116 gave way because of the steepness of the ascent, that actually the descent following that break would be quite sharp. And that is actually what we're seeing. We've seen 110 um, come and go pretty quickly uh, for, since breaking 116. We're down at 108. And I think probably now that that 110 has given way, the market is going to have 105 in their targets. And the Bank of Japan just yesterday referenced being able to tolerate the exchange rate volatility down to 100. So it could actually be that the markets push dollar yen all the way down to 100 before we start getting some real risk of intervention from the Bank of Japan. Now, if we just have a look at the daily candlestick chart for dollar yen, you can see the previous trend line break and retest. You can see the 116 level giving way, the 110 level giving way. And it looks like the next major area of potential support is 105 where that previous peak was. And it's obviously a round figure as well that uh, the markets may begin to target. So somewhere in before that 105 could see a bit more hefty support. But for the time being, this is a fairly, steady, uh, a fairly steep descent and there may be fairly minimal pullbacks to the upside until we get to uh, into that kind of 105 type zone uh, before we see maybe a bit of a bigger bounce. Um, but again, 100 seems like it could well be on the cards now. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. We're looking at dollar yen, obviously. Um, the divergence in policy between the Federal Reserve and the Bank of Japan, that seems to be converging now. We've seen a sharp move down in the dollar yen. But chances are this trend can continue. We need to keep an eye on how these uh, central bankers speak in the run-up to their next meetings. And we also need to keep an eye on the, the 110 that was just broken, as well as 105 to the downside.